Women from New York to India are joining together at hackathons in an effort to fight against gender-based violence. These hackathons have led to the creation of innovative new technologies that are helping to keep women safe both on and offline. Joining us now is Jennifer Vento, Managing Director of the digital marketing firm Women Online, who will highlight some of the ways that these civic gatherings are benefiting women worldwide. So first of all, what is a hackathon when these women get together? What are they doing? Sure. A hackathon, and first I want to say that hackers, when we think about hackers, there are two connotations. There are the hackers who are going online and, you know, uh, penetrating servers and the bad kind. The bad kind. Right. We're talking about the good kind who are using technology creatively to solve problems. So at a typical hackathon, people come together um, and we're talking about people hacking for gender equality, but they're coming together, they're technologists, they're also stakeholders in the community that are concerned about these issues. Um, and they define what the problems are, and then they come together and they create a solution using technology that can aid them in these issues. So someone's laid out a problem, and this group of people is working toward a solution set. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the problems that they've tackled? Sure. Problems include uh, domestic violence. They include um, online harassment, which is a huge problem. They train women how to be safe online and to be secure. Um, those are some of some of the issues. So what, how can technology affect something uh, like uh, gender violence? Well, um, one is informing women about their rights through apps. Um, another is being able to notify people when you're in a dangerous situation. Another one is crowdsourcing data so that the community can pinpoint areas um, where bad things are happening. For example, um, harass map. Um, grew out of uh, issues happening in Cairo where there was tons of street harassment. So a group of friends came together um, and they used uh, Ushahidi technology to allow people to use SMS to say when they were harassed. And then you can look at that data and you can pinpoint where are the hotbeds of harassment and then the community can take action. That's an interesting idea because the Ushahidi maps are usually after disasters and crises right, yeah. and so forth, right? This is an interesting application of a map to source all that information. Um, even in the United States, uh, what are some of the, the, the hacks that have worked here to try to address some of these issues? Uh, one is Circle of Six which is an app that actually came out of a White House sponsored hackathon. It's developed by a group of college students and it's an app to prevent date-based date violence. So you, you, know, you notify six friends before you go on your date and if something happens, it's a really quick way for you to get in touch with them. And so, it's, I mean, it, it's an old idea, tell your friends you're going out on a date with yeah, a exactly. stranger, right? But it's interesting kind of use of technology mm -hmm. that with one button, you could actually send out an alert to five people at the same time, regardless of where they are, and they could, at least one of those five might be able to do something for you. What are the kind of plans for how these hackathons evolve? I mean, are there more planned? Are they around mm -hmm. the country, around the world? Sure, um, there are some happening here, and there are many that are happening around the world. Um, it's, it's a movement that's growing because I think the more that people who are champions for gender equality realize that that's an issue that is manifest online and it's, it's growing, um, becoming a much larger issue, um, they realize that they need to use technology to address this. So um, there are international hackathons, which are great, especially when they bridge gaps geographically and people can collaborate virtually to help each other um, you know, adapt apps in their different contexts. In the last maybe few months or a year, we've started to hear more about what an average woman experiences on the yeah. internet, right? I mean, so what are technologies that can prevent some of the bullying and harassment that just is actually commonplace mm -hmm. and I might not actually see it or view it as a man? You know, keeping people safe online and Educating people on how they should be using technology and how they should be protecting their personal data is a huge issue because of doxing, right? The release of, of somebody's private information can open the floodgates of harassment. So that's a very big one. Originally, the internet was something that was more anonymous. And now we're all tied to our personal information online. So it's much easier for somebody to get in and release that information. So, I mean, I think it's also... We have to look at the technology providers and those who are running the platforms for help here because I think that there are some policy issues that need to be addressed to help that as, in addition to what hacktivists can do. All right, Jennifer Vento, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.